Chapter 9, Mishnah 6. The Mishnah continues with the last case of the previous Mishnah, where the husband said that neither he nor his heirs will make his wife swear. It was stated in Mishnah 4 that a woman who is put in charge of her husband's property can be made to swear that she did not take any of it. This Mishnah discusses whether his heirs can make her take such an oath if she managed his property after he died. If she went directly from her husband's grave to her father's house and thus had nothing to do with her husband's property after he was buried, or if she went back to her father-in-law's house, i.e. she stayed in her husband's home, but she was not made an administrator of his property after he was buried, the husband's heirs cannot make her swear that she did not take anything between the time he died and the time he was buried, even though she was in charge of the estate during that interval. However, if she was made an administrator of his property after he was buried, the heirs can indeed make her swear about the future. That is, they can make her swear that she did not take anything after the burial, just as any person who hires someone to manage his property can make him swear that he did not steal anything. But they cannot make her swear about the past. That is, they cannot make her swear that she did not take anything while her husband was still alive. This is because our Mishnah's case is where the husband had said that neither he nor his heirs would make her swear.